Welcome to Rick's Corner today. Uh, just thinking about a couple of things. I see people working chest in the gym, and chest seems to be a hard area for some people, and some people it's not. It just depends on what you do and how your body responds. But there's many ways to make it respond, and I'm going back to the old school method that worked for me and so many others that we did, and I really liked them. I thought they worked very well. Uh, I always started off with bench press because I was a good bench presser and I was a power lifter, and I thought this is going to be the key to a big chest. And for years, that's what I did. I would always do bench presses. And yes, my chest grew. My strength really uh, increased quite a bit. Uh, but then I would do more shaping exercises. Now, shaping is debatable with people. Some people say you can't shape a muscle. It develops to, into what it's going to develop, and that's it. But after bench presses, I would do inclines with a bar, and I would do a wide grip uh, to the neck. I would do a wide grip bench to the neck. Uh, with a two second pause, just like a power lifter would, and my chest really had to work to get that weight up. All right, so let's just say I started with the benches and I went the inclines, and then I went to dumbbell flies. Dumbbell flies were brought out to stretch very wide and then to come in and put your little fingers together because it would turn, as you turn your wrist on some exercises, it makes the muscle work differently. So if you're coming up and you turn in, it brings that muscle in. You can actually sit there and feel it as you turn the pec come together. All right, so let's just say we did bench presses, incline presses with the bar, and then dumbbell side flies. That was the chest workout. I would say four to five sets of each exercise. So you've got probably 12 to 15 sets total. That's all you really need. Um, there was times I threw in dips. Dips worked okay for the decline. Um, but I was told over the years that your upper chest is what you want to develop because as you grow older, your chest will sag and your pecs will become lower and there will be decline pec. So that was one way of doing it. Then I switched and I switched to dumbbells. And I thought dumbbells were really good because you can get down deep, deeper than a bar. And then so I would do flat bench, blanche, uh, flat bench dumbbell presses and then I would do incline dumbbell presses. And I'd bring them together at the top. After I did those, I would do, instead of doing dumbbell flies, which I would do occasionally, I would go over and I would do the cable crossovers. Now, I've seen many people do cable crossovers wrong. The majority of people do them wrong. The trainers do them wrong. They have them come out and they do like pressing with them. Well, it's a cable crossover, meaning you're crossing over. Every other rep, you cross over this way, you cross over this way. Now, you can start at the high angle and come this way, or you can stop at the bottom and go this way, or you can make your, um, your pulleys in the middle and come straight across. Now, Joe Gold had a, uh, a variable crossover machine. He would make them so you could adjust the pulleys high, medium, or low. So that way, you got a different angle on each one. The medium one was pretty good because you could come straight over and come straight across. Now, if you didn't want to do doubles, then you would take a single. You take the single and you start here and you come over, but you come, put your finger here and come way across over past the point of the middle and you can feel your pec working from the inside to the back. Now, this really helped me develop my pecs quite a bit. The cable crossovers were excellent. The dumbbells were for more of a heavy lift to get bulk and then the kick crossovers did the shape. Now, I mean shape, they actually did the striations in them. So you would have dumbbell presses, incline dumbbell presses, and the cable crossover. So there's like three exercises, and again, four or five sets of each. That was enough right there. Then I kind of switched over and I started doing, uh, I did a dumbbell press, and then I went to a hammer machine for an incline. And then I would put my feet on a, on a bench, and I'd get two small boxes, and I would do push-ups in between the incline pressing. My son and I did this, and boy, what a pump in the pecs that brought. That was just amazing, uh, the, the push-ups in between. Because push-ups are kind of a lost exercise, but I mean, in the military I did them and it developed my chest. It's always been a chest exercise. But if you incorporate that with flies, or you incorporate it with the inclines, you get a really good pump in your chest. These are variations of exercises you can do. Um, dips were for the lower pec and tries, they said, and I did them. Uh, sometimes I go down to the beach on a day I didn't train, I just do chins and dips all day long. I mean, it's like not all day long, but you know, like for a half hour or so, and I get a good pump, you know, like chest and back. Because the theory was back in those days as well, we would work chest and back together. We'd do bench presses and chins and then inclines and seated pull ins and on down the road. But I'm just talking about chest today. So if you want to develop a big chest, I would suggest doing dumbbell presses, but make sure you're strict on them. Make sure you bring them to the top. Uh, you can go medium to heavyweight, and then on the incline presses, you do the same thing with the dumbbells. Make sure you have a spotter. You want to do these correct. I mean, I was up to the 150s, and uh, I would work out with 80s to 100s easily, and that developed my chest quite a bit. Now on the flies, I would go anywhere from the 35s to the 65s, um, and they weren't difficult to do at all, 
but I made sure I got a good stretch. I remember when Arnold and I would do them, we'd get stretched all the way out as far as we could because you want to stretch that muscle out and then you want to compress it when you come together. So you've got uh, dumbbell press, incline press, and dumbbell flies, or not dumbbell flies, you do cable crossovers. Either one of the two work, or a single arm cable crossover works just as well. This will really help your chest quite a bit and you'll get the development that you need. Now, each muscle works a little bit different, but chest is a big muscle. It can handle a lot of weight. I wouldn't go too light on it because I don't think it does much. And over the years, you know, I've changed around because of injuries. A lot of people are complaining to me lately, especially a lot of the younger guys say how much their shoulders hurt. And on chest and bench presses, they can't do them because their shoulders hurt so bad they can't press the weight. It's very true. But they do make machines that kind of like counter for that. There's a hammer machine that's a press machine. It's a decline and an incline. I think it's a pretty good machine because the theory is you're going to work the muscle. No matter if it's a weight or if it's a chain cable or if it's a, if it's a machine, the muscle's still going to work. The muscle doesn't know one from the other. It just thinks it's getting worked. So think of that in your head. When you're working the muscle, if you're doing a dumbbell, if you're doing a machine, whatever, it's still the muscle. Now on the hammer, when I do it, if I'm going to do chest on a hammer, I close my eyes and I envision that I've got dumbbells in my hand. So my mind is telling my body I'm using dumbbells. It's mind over matter in this case, and it does work. So when I envision the dumbbells, I envision the full movement, that I'm getting a good contraction. So that's just something I wanted to mention to all of you because that's a, a lagging body, body part for some people, and these things really work. I'll try to get into each body part for you as time goes on, but the, today is the chest workout. And give that a shot and see if you like it. Holidays are coming up, uh, you'll have days off for vacations and the gyms are open, so take advantage of it, go in and hit those chests and hit it really hard, okay? I'll see you later and thanks for watching Rick's Corner. Think big chest. Drayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.